at Northlands Coliseum. It's the semifinals. Switzerland taking on Sweden. Teams coming into this, different routes, but it all comes down to this. Winner gets a chance to play Canada in the gold medal game. Well, second end of the semifinal, and Benoit Schwartz for Switzerland with his last shot facing what could be a big end. Possible triple. Benoit Schwartz is perfect. Rolls right to the center to lie two. A little fist pump for the young four stone thrower. Forcing Nicholas Hedin to play the hit. And Stick get an early single point and a one nothing lead. Right back in the third, it was a miss by Nicholas Hedin on his last. He ended up just touching that redstone over and leaving an open draw here. For a second point. And no problem there. Schwartz looking sharp early on, leading at that point. But back in the fifth end, it is an outturn draw. Sweden had it set up throughout. Switzerland couldn't get out of the deuce. And it's a draw for that second point. There it is, and that leaves it with a 3-2 Sweden lead halfway through this semifinal. The gold medal game, and here's how we got to this point. Seventh end, and the final stone for Benoit Schwartz. Facing three Swedish stones. A game shot, missed this and give up a bundle. But he's perfect right to the button. Benoit Schwartz getting the crowd fired up right to the button. Nicholas Adin now had to answer right back. The intern double raise takeout. Red across the top, stick it, score two. And just like that, a big end for Nicholas Adin. And after a well defended end by Sweden, Benoit Schwartz forced to draw for one. And again, facing multiple Swedish stones. No problem there, comes down right to the side of the button, gets their one. And they would have some work in the 10th end to try and steal. Put those two in the top of the eight foot. And Nicholas Adin with the out turn hit, throwing it hard, trying to roll it flat. Use that other one as a catcher if needed. Nicholas will hit and roll. They look to see, is it enough? Did they roll enough? It'll take a measure. As it is, this red Swiss stone that is shot, sending it to an extra end. And after hitting to lie two, Schwartz and Switzerland forces Nicholas Adin to hit and stick to earn a spot in the gold medal game. And he will stick around. Nicholas Adin with the win, 6-5, and Sweden on to the final as they knock off Switzerland. Nick, that was a fantastic win. How does it feel to make it into that gold medal game? Uh, it feels great. I, I think uh, we deserve to be there, and uh, we fought hard uh, the whole week. Uh, haven't played at our best yet, but uh, all we wanted was a shot at that gold, and now we got it. So uh, we're going to do everything we can from here to, uh, to try, and, uh, try and beat Gucci in the final. Yeah, do you think that this last game against Switzerland was that game you were looking for to push you towards Team Canada? I think so, yeah. I think we needed one more game. Uh, we didn't feel ready after the round robin, and then uh, Canada outplayed us simply in that uh, one-two page game. So it uh, felt good to get another game, and uh, played way better now. The ice was better, too. Uh, Feels like uh, we're more ready for the final now, yeah. Okay, great. And what are you guys going to do tonight to prepare for K Team Canada? Uh, talk about the game first, uh, um, see what we did right and wrong in this game, and uh, 
talk about what we expect for tomorrow and how, how to prepare for tomorrow. I think it's uh, a lot up to each person individually what uh, they want to do to be ready and, uh, and then just uh, celebrate this win a little bit before we go to bed. Great, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Oh.